why don't you have a mobile app? Well, um, <laughs> goes back to the previous question we were just discussing with the, um, the unfortunate reality of the uh, offshore bucket shops and, and binary options. Um, the, the un again, the fallout from that was uh, what you would call pseudo-regulators, quasi-regulators uh, in the world that we live in now, uh, and that's Google, that's Apple, uh, that's a lot of your marketing mediums. Uh, they, when that fallout happened, uh, they effectively shut the door on binary options for, for good reason. Um, you know, saying we're not going to allow you to market binary options uh, through our platform. You know, Apple said, well, we're not going to allow anyone to offer binary options through our app store, so on and so forth. Um, so that's prevented us, and that is a global ban. It's not just central to, um, you know, uh, the Western Hemisphere or, you know, wherever, you know, the, uh, these bucket shops uh, were domiciled out of. Uh, so that's something that we've had to deal with for the better part of two, two and a half, three years now. Um, it, we do have an app. Um, we have a progressive web app technology. Uh, so if you were to search for Nadex uh, through uh, your browser and your phone, uh, it's then going to direct you uh, through a process for how to get that uh, and how to add it to your home screen and then be able to access it no different uh, than you would a, a native Apple app. So it's a bit, it's a bit more tedious and more uh, hoops you have to jump through, uh, but that's what we have to work through at this current time as we continue to work with Apple and Google and some of the others to loosen up their restrictions on binaries.